Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm going to prove this theorem that take any group you want, there is only one identity element. So what that means is that the identity element is unique in any group that you have. So let's prove this thing. So if you're watching this video, you know how, no doubt have uh, some sort of idea of what a group is and you know that groups have identity elements. So let's just suppose, let's suppose that there are two identity, identity elements. Let's just suppose E and F are identities in our group G. Well, what that means, and the reason I use E and F is because I don't know what kind of group I'm talking about, so I'm just leaving this abstract. Well, what that means for something to be an identity is that for all elements in G, so I'll say for all A in G, all elements A in G, that means that A times E is equal to E times A is equal to A. That's the definition of an identity in a group. So imagine if you had the number five and the identity one, right? Five times one is five, one times five is five, uh, so that's the effect the identity has on the element. Well, that would also mean if f is an identity, then a times f is f times a is also a. Right? So if, the, if these are both identities, then they would have the same effect on a. Well, let me take this first equation. If this is true for any element a in g, let's let a be f. Right? F is an element in G. It happens to be one of the identities, supposedly. Well, that means this first equation would be F E is equal to E times F, which is equal to F. So I'm just letting A equal F in my first equation. I'll do something similar. In my second equation, let's let A equal E. Then in my second equation here, I would have E times F is equal to F times E is equal to E. All right, well, look at the tail of this first equation. I have that E times F is equal to F. And look at the second equation, I have E times F is equal to E. Well, if E times F is F, and E times F is E, then that implies that F is equal to E, and there is in fact only one identi identity element in any group. So there's your proof. It's not too bad, it's pretty quick. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to, please rewind and watch the video again, and have a great day.